Hello everyone. My name is Tejwan Kaur. I am your math teacher. Firstly, welcome to all of you to our YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe our channel. Share my videos. Today's my topic is division for class four. Topic is division. In previous video, I discuss about the multiplication. In this video, we discuss division. Firstly, we have division by ten hundred and thousand. When we divide by ten hundred and thousand, then we can divide without. We can give answer without actual division. Without actual division. For example, we have two hundred fifty-eight divided by ten. When we divide by ten, we get quotient by removing ones digit. If we remove ones digit, then we can get quotient. So what is left now? Here is twenty five. So quotient is twenty five, and ones digit is eight. Then remainder is eight. Here we have eight is remainder. The answer of division is called quotient. And which number we are going to divide is called divided. Which number we are going to divide is called divided. And by which number we are going to divide is called divisor. Divisor. So which number we are going to divide is called divided. And which num by which number we are going to divide is called divisor. Then answer of division is called quotient. So what is left is called remainder. Remainder. Next we have three thousand four hundred fifty-seven divided by hundred. When we are going to divide by hundred, then we remove two digits. Two digits, ones and tens place digit. We remove ones and tens place digit. Then what is left here? It's a thirty-four. So quotient is thirty-four. Then and fifty-seven is a remainder. Next we have four thousand two hundred ninety-eight divided by thousand. When we are going to divide by thousand, then we remove. Three digits. Then what is left? Four. So four is a quotient. We remove ones, tens, and hundred place digits when we are going to divide by thousand. So quotient is four, and two hundred ninety-eight is a remainder. Two hundred ninety-eight. Now division by one digit number. Here we have divided three hundred forty-eight. We divide it by seven. Seven is a single digit number. Then firstly you can see single digit only. Single digit first digit we have three, so three is less than seven. So we can see two digits here. Now you can read the table of seven. You need thirty-four or less than thirty-four. Seven sevens are forty-nine. It's greater. Seven six are forty-two. It's also greater. Seven fives are thirty-five. It's also greater. Then seven fours are seven fours are twenty-eight. Twenty-eight is less than thirty-four. Seven fives are thirty-five. Thirty-five is greater than thirty-four. And that's why we write twenty-eight. Now subtract it. We can't subtract eight from four. Then we take borrow. So fourteen minus eight, it's a six. Two minus two, zero. Now we take one digit from upper side. Now we have sixty-eight. Now you can read the table of seven. You need sixty-eight or less than sixty-eight. Seven lines are. Seven nines are sixty-three. Now eight minus three, five. Six minus six, 
zero. Now forty nine is a quotient and five is a remainder. Seven is a divisor. And three hundred forty-eight is a dividend. Divisor, dividend, quotient, and remainder. Now division by two-digit number and check your answer. Firstly, divide by two-digit number. Then we can check if our answer is correct or not. Now, dividend we have two thousand five hundred sixty-nine, and divisor is twelve. Now, twelve is a two-digit number. Firstly, we see two digits. Two digits we have twenty-five. So, twenty-five is greater than twelve. So, now read the uh, table of twelve. You need twenty-five or less than twenty-five. Twelve one is twelve. Twelve two is twenty-four. Now subtract five minus four, one. Two minus two, zero. Now we have sixteen. Now read the table of twelve. You need sixteen or less than sixteen. So twelve one is twelve. Now six minus two, it's a four. One minus one, zero. Now take nine. Now we have forty-nine. Read the table of twelve again. You need forty-nine or less than forty-nine. Twelve one is twelve. Twelve two is twenty-four. Twelve three is thirty-six. Twelve four is forty-eight. So twelve four is forty-eight. Nine minus eight, one. Four minus four, zero. So one is a remainder. Two hundred fourteen is a Quotient and two thousand five hundred sixty nine is a dividend. Twelve is a divisor. Now we have formula to check the answer. Dividend is equal divisor multiply by quotient plus remainder. So dividend we have two thousand five hundred sixty nine. Is equal divisor. We have twelve multiply by quotient. So quotient we have two hundred forty plus remainder. Remainder we have one. Now multiply two hundred fourteen multiply by twelve. We can multiply side two hundred fourteen multiply by twelve. So four two are eight. Two one is two. Two two is four. Next multiply by one. One four is four. One one is one. One two is two. Now add these numbers. Eight six five two. So it's a two thousand five hundred sixty eight. And one is one we have remainder. Right, two thousand five hundred sixty-nine as it is. So two thousand five hundred sixty-eight plus one. So two thousand five hundred sixty-nine. So it's same. If a the answer is same with the dividend, then our answer is correct. Our division is correct. Thanks. If you have any query regarding division, then you can write in the comment section.